you must have wondered doctors prescribing calcium tablets or hearing doctors say it's important to have calcium supplements in your diet or have good calcium in your body but have you ever wondered what exactly is the role of calcium in your body if not this video will be helpful for you because in this video i'm going to share with you why calcium matters to our body and what its role so make sure to watch this video till the end let's begin Hello friends, I am physiotherapist Meghna Dave, founder of Health Cure Rehab, a neuro rehabilitation physiotherapist and a YouTuber. So as the title of the video suggests, role of calcium in our body, let's understand what exactly is in calcium. So calcium is a mineral, we all know it, right? But calcium is a very important mineral of our body. It's associated with the health of our bones as well as health of our overall body. Healthy bones, healthy teeth are the key significant factors which we can achieve with the help of good calcium levels in our body. It also plays a very crucial role in maintaining blood circulation level well and maintaining the clotting ability of the blood which means that it will not allow your blood to get very thin and it will maintain the consistency of the blood. It also helps to contract your muscles. It helps in regulating your normal heart rhythm and it's also very important in your nerve function. 99% of calcium is stored in our bones and only 1% is circulating in the rest of our body via blood circulation. Via blood circulation, muscles and other tissues. Body can get calcium from two sources. One is food or is the supplements and second is the bones itself which means our body can draw calcium from our bones. So, our body gets calcium from two ways. One is definitely your dietary sources from the food that we eat and the supplements. And second, the calcium is drawn from our own bones. Yes, our body has the capability to draw calcium from the bones which where it is maximally stored whenever there is a deficiency. Now, what is the recommended amount of calcium in our body? Well, if you were someone who is between the age group of 19 to 60 years and a woman, then you need 1000 milligrams of calcium daily. And if you are a lactating mother or is an older woman, so what is the dietary requirement of calcium? How much calcium do you need? If you are in women between the age group of 19 to 50 years, then you need 1000 milligrams of calcium every day. If you are more than 50 years, then you require 1200 milligrams of calcium every day. On contrary, if you are a male, then you need 1000 milligram of calcium if you are between age group of 90 to 70 years. And if you are someone who is above 70 years, then you need 1200 milligrams of calcium every day. So, what are the food sources from which we can get calcium? Now, you must have seen there are a lot of calcium supplements that are very easily available in marketplace. You can go to any pharmacy, you can just talk to your doctor and they would be able to prescribe some good calcium supplements for your body. But apart from that, if we look at the natural sources of calcium, dairy is one of the best way to get calcium in our body. All kind of dairy products, milk, yogurt, paneer, tofu, etc. has a lot of calcium in it. Along with it, green leafy vegetables like spinach, kale, etc also have good amount of calcium even almonds have good amount of calcium one fun fact i would like to share with you spinach is a vegetable which has got highest amount of calcium in our body but what happens is spinach also have got few nutrients which limits the absorption of calcium in our body and that's why even though spinach has got good amount of calcium when you consume it your body will not get it enough even if we look at the non-vegetarian sources, then fish is one of the best way to get calcium. Salmon fish has got good amount of calcium in it. So this forms the dietary side. Now, as I said, we, our body can also take calcium from our bones. So bo our bones are the place which stores calcium. So whenever there is a deficiency, our body can take calcium from our bones and can make up for the deficit that's present in the body. But whenever there is a deficiency, then it requires additional calcium from outside. So your food should have good amount of calcium supplements. Now what will happen if you get deficient in calcium? 
if your calcium levels drop down one of the commonest thing that will happen would be osteopenia and later on osteoporosis which means your bones will get brittle now since your body is not having good amount of calcium your body will repeatedly take or borrow calcium from your bones and it's important to make up for the loss of that calcium and that's why if that doesn't happen it lead to osteopenia which means weak bones and later on osteoporosis which means brittle bone which means they can break any time apart from that calcium deficiency also gives you problems like muscle cramps night cramps weakness of muscle numbness and tingling sensation abnormal heart rate and poor appetite so do you think we should consistently take additional supplement of calcium absolutely not because there is one more thing which is called as calcium toxicity which means excess calcium on the body is also not good it will harm your body and that's why adequate amount of calcium is only a good way if we look at the toxicity related symptoms which means if the body has got excess calcium so you must be wondering how much is excess calcium in our body if your calcium levels are 2500 mg and more then definitely calcium toxicity exist now this calcium toxicity can put you in the risk of kidney stones prostate cancer constipation weakness fatigue nausea vomiting shortness of breath chest pain and irregular heart rate and that's the reason it's very important to have moderation as the key when it comes to maintaining calcium levels in your body through this video my intent was to educate you and make you understand the role of calcium and i hope i could do that if you want to know more about supplements related to calcium then please make sure to check with your doctor check your get your blood test done to identify the level of your calcium and then move on i hope you found this video helpful if yes definitely make sure to like this video share this video with your friends and family members and do not forget to subscribe to health q channel i'll see you in another video thank you